All right, welcome back. This is Mike Perkins. Um, again, another episode. Um, we got the uh, Will Smith, uh, Chris Rock incident at the uh, Oscars, whereas Will Smith slapped Chris Rock because he made a joke on uh, his wife. Um, it was a G.I. Jane joke, um, and Jada is apparently going through. Um, she has a condition, alopecia, which, uh, which makes her lose her hair. Um, that's unfortunate. That's unfortunate. I didn't know that, but, uh, knowing that part of this situation is, um, yeah, every bit of information that I get is, is good. Um, let's first do some, uh, some house clean, housekeeping if we can, uh, again, all the views, all the love, uh, is appreciated, um, if you could and you see the video, if you like it, give it a like, if you, uh, if you could go up after that and, or down or around and give it a su- subscribe as well, that would be great, I'd appreciate that, uh, but back to these bars, so, um, With the whole incident, I would just like to start at the joke. The joke was, um, love you, Jada. Um, Can't wait for the next uh, G.I. Jane for G.I. Jane 2. And that's where it started. It started at that joke. Um, We made a previous joke about a husband and a wife, whereas the wife and the husband were both nominated Um, if she loses, then you can't win, you know, and that transitioned him into the, uh, joke, uh, with Will Smith, then to Jada. Um, first off, we know it was a joke because he's a comedian hosting an award show. So, like, the, the comments about import taste, you know, the, 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 you know, like, as if he meant harm, I think that we're, you know, if anybody's saying that he meant harm, you're just reaching at this point. Like, he's a comedian. You know, I'm not saying whether the joke was funny or not. I think that we we could argue that. But did he mean any harm? Likely not. He's a comedian at an event, you know, whereas he's hosting. You know, it's not like he's you know, a presenter, I could see if he was one of the actors and he made one of those jokes, it would be like, okay, that's not cool at all, you know, because you're not a comedian, you're just somebody trying to, trying to be funny at the expense of, you know, at the expense of somebody who you don't really know like that, and you're not a comedian, you know, again, it's like anybody trying to do their profession, you know, and disrupt, you know, but he was apparently put on there to make a joke, and you know, I think that when we do make jokes, a lot of times, um, jokes are like, I've never seen a joke or never heard a joke that didn't offend somebody. Typically jokes offend somebody, you know, um, there's no such thing as a joke just about a thing. The best jokes offend people. Now it may offend people you don't give a fuck about, but they typically offend people that offended Jada she's well within right to be offended she is she does have a condition that causes her to lose her hair and her being you know uh sensitive about that is understandable you know again we could argue that the joke was in poor taste um as far as Will's reaction to it um I just you know his his reaction was just wrong at best um the best case scenario would have been if he just got him after the not got him but <laughs> but talk to him after the show and maybe said uh you know yo bruh I, I get it you you a comedian you was doing your job but I didn't appreciate that my wife didn't appreciate that you know I would like it if you apologize to me and my wife and that would that would have been the best case scenario um I think that would have been you know that probably would have been reported somebody would have probably heard it and say do you know that will smith but i mean 
that one would have made me be like, all right, cool. You know what I mean? Like, that's that's appropriate. I know Jada didn't like the joke, but, you know, for Will to kind of come in there and say, hey, you know, don't talk about my wife like that, man. Like, she going through something. You know, we dealing with it. And, uh, you know, that joke wasn't cool. You know, that would have been the man thing to do. And I think that, you know, Chris Rock would have probably obliged. You know, I've had situations like that where, as you know, I was married. And I've had to tell somebody, hey, man, I, that's too far. Apologize to my wife. You know, and, you know, it happens. You know, I mean, I could go either way. But when you give a man an opportunity to right his wrong, then it's different. You know, I'm giving you an opportunity to right your wrong. Not, okay, I'm going to just do wrong. And I'm going to just swing unless your wife is in imminent danger if your wife is in imminent danger or she's been violated in a way where somebody touched her then you gotta touch a nigga it just is what it is you know what i mean obviously that's not this situation but i'm saying the the the, the situation where you put your hands on somebody is somebody is putting your wife in imminent danger or they touch your wife then it's you know all bets is off nigga you gotta you know catch these hands you know but you can kind of tell that um Will knew that he can get away with that, which is really one of my major um, gripes about the situation. You know, there's a lot of, you know, if that was this person, if that was this person, I don't think anybody else would have probably made that joke. I think only really Chris Rock in that situation makes that joke. If I can go down the list of people who would probably be on stage, probably uh, uh, Dreyfus, maybe. Um, maybe of course Chris Rock um you know maybe oh maybe Wanda Sykes you know what I'm saying who would probably say something like that you know what I mean um I can't see or think of anybody else who would say something like that but uh Ricky Gervais Chris Rock Wanda Sykes that's only the only names I can think of that would probably go there other than that now, two of the three, you know, he's not smacking a woman, you know what I mean, obviously, and Ricky Gervais is a white guy who he probably, you know, wouldn't slap, and, uh, you know, but I don't know that Ricky Gervais would really make that joke, you know, I think the only person that we could say would honestly make that joke would be Chris Rock, right? Um... Also, it was brought to my attention, you know what I mean, of which I remember the joke. I just didn't get the con, like, you know, stuff happens and then you move on. He made a joke about Jada and her, you know, boycotting the, 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 the Oscars for Will not getting nominated or, or Oscars so white, the, 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 the Oscars being so white you know, and nobody black really being nominated that year in 2016. And uh, he said, Jada, Jada is boycotting the Oscars. It's like, wow. You know what I mean? That's like me boycotting Rihanna's panties. I wasn't invited, you know, which is hilarious. You know what I'm saying? It's pretty hilarious. You know what I'm saying? It's a joke on himself. It's self-defecating. And you know what I'm saying? It, it addresses the obvious thing. And I think everybody was kind of thinking that. It's like, why is she the one? She ain't never been nominated. Why is she the one doing that? You know what I mean? But again, it's one of those things whereas, you know, that is his wife. And I get it. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, but let's get to the... the he was wrong. I don't think he should have handled it that way. If you think the joke was a poor taste, look, the joke... It was a joke nonetheless. You know, so some jokes hit, some jokes don't. Um, if you don't appreciate them, the best way to handle them is not to be that. Now, let's get to... Let's get to the real. What I don't want this to turn into is a protect all black women. Black women need to be protected like this commercial. Because that's what this looks like it's about to turn into. You know what I'm saying? You know, like, I, I was off of Twitter for a very long time. You know what I'm saying? Maybe, like, two months. Because I can't stand Twitter. Twitter is just... That's feminist headquarters. Like, it's just dumb. And it's black feminist headquarters, which is just the dumbest thing in the world. Twitter sucks as a staff record label and as a crew. And if you're down with Twitter, then fuck you, too. Um, but 
you go on there and then you you kind of you know feel what's going on and then you listen to people and then you know of course some instagram posts and things of that nature and people are the angle that people are taking you know as a black woman it's just like ah i don't i don't think that y'all need to be doing that like it seems like they take the opportunity to make this about them at every turn this is not about y'all it's not about y'all it's not this is not a protect all black women moment you know what i'm saying that man was wrong you know what I'm saying? Now, if the joke was in poor taste, you could go to Chris Rock after the show and say, hey, Chris, man, like, I get it, dog. You're trying to make a joke, but, like, you know, chill out on my wife, man. You know, if I got to tell you that, because I would imagine that if you would have told him that prior, you know what I mean? If you would have told him that, you know, prior, like, you know, I'm sure Will Smith can get in touch with anybody he wants to get in touch with. If you would have told him that prior because of whatever he felt, you know, then it would have been, then it wouldn't have been a thing. He, he's never he never knew that i'm like look dude i don't know that you and your wife sensitive about that situation i'm just making i'm just doing my job <laughs> you know what i'm saying yeah, i'm just doing my job um this is not a protect all black woman moment though this is this is the the exact wrong way to do that luckily it was chris rock because it had been anybody else that didn't know again it being anybody else is probably a reach because most people wouldn't have been in that situation again i can only really think of two other names other than chris rock who would have even went there on the joke and i'll probably think of one before i get or after i get off you know whatever but um but yeah but luckily that's him now will smith not a small guy he's not a small guy you know what i'm saying he's big guys in shape i get it you know what i'm saying but like no man wants to fight other men based on the idea that somebody could die you know you only make moves like that with people who you know you can get away with that with you know what i'm saying and like you know the angle that everybody's you know of course approaching is like man you didn't have that energy for for um you know you didn't have that energy for for august alcina and i and and that is an angle you know but as a man like i i get it though like I get not really knowing what to do in a lot of these situations, you know, and I will shoot him some bail there. Like, you know, your wife fucking some dude, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, your, your natural instinct is to say, well, I'm going to fuck him up. But it's like, if it's not a situation that's everybody knows and you don't want people to know, then, then whooping his ass probably wouldn't be in the best interest, even though that's what you want now after he tells everybody and essentially everybody has to know well then maybe that's an ass whooping that needs to happen and who knows maybe it did happen maybe it didn't you know that they're, they're they let you know what they want you to know you know what i'm saying will and jada they they, they don't let you know what they don't want you to know this it's their life you know but this is not a time for protect all black women this is not that commercial is doesn't need to be and this is not the way you protect the black woman you know this is not the way you protect any woman, for that matter. Again, I've been in situations where dudes have went too far and said some things, and I, I have to say, hey, my man, you know, that's a, that deserve what Chris did deserved that, hey, my man, hey, my man. And you just, you, you holler at him, like, hey, my man, like, that's not, you know, that's a little too far. Even if he would have done it during the show, that would have been acceptable. Like, you know, Chris said it, and then he like, hey, my man, too far. You know, too far. Like, I, I get it, but that's too far. You know? And if Chris didn't acquiesce, you know, I'm not saying then you punch him in the face, but then, then it's something different. You know? Then it's something different. You know? But uh, this is not a, 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 a moment of protect all black women. Uh, protect all black women. Um... It's just not that. This is about a guy really, really with some displaced, you know, misplaced anger. And, you know, that wasn't it. And, and even if he is still mad at Chris Rock for making, you know, the joke in 2016 or, you know, whatever year that was, I'll give him I'll give him that. It's still a matter of just, you know, having a conversation because you can't have that for, you know, 
what, what, almost what, six years? You can't hold that grudge for six years. Nobody can hold a grudge that long over a joke. And not say anything, that's just not, that doesn't make any sense. You know, is is it? And I know what this is about to do. And this sets us back. This sets a lot of what we do back so far, because they have a moment. You know. Now, hopefully, after things disseminate and everything kind of calms down, people can actually come to the conclusion that will. You know, although we get it, it's like, dude, it's a joke. Like, chill out. You know what I'm saying? You know, you hooked off on a comedian. You knew you can get away with that with one, two. The energy that you have for this guy is nothing in comparison to the energy you should have for somebody else. Because not only did he do what he did, he's also talking about your wife. Who was your wife? You know, and having whole interviews and making songs. Like, we gotta we gotta swing on somebody else. Now, if you already swung on August and gave him that work, it's different. You know what I mean? If you gave him work, then that that's fine. But I need to see some proof. I need some receipts on the work that you gave them. You know what I mean? I need an invoice on the work. <laughs> Cause if you didn't give them no work, and you gave, you know, you gave Chris Rock a little work. You know what I'm saying? You know, we got the invoice. <laughs> it's, it's all over the, all over the internet. But you got to, you got to show me you gave dude some work because you can't be one way with with this guy and another way with the other guy. You know. And I get it. Like, I 100% get it. You know what I'm saying? Especially, like, you know, you, you have these instances, like, you know, uh, whereas, you know, if your wife feels away, you want to be able to go home. You got to go home. You know? And I don't know that, it, you know, if she's like, you know, yeah, baby, you did the right thing. She's clown shit. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, all in all, man, you know, he, he wasn't right for his reaction. The joke. You know what I mean? Maybe the joke was a poor taste. I mean, I don't, you know, I don't necessarily think so, but I got, I can get it if somebody said the joke was a poor taste. His reaction, though, was way overboard. You know what I'm saying? You got people like, like, DJ Envy, who's always, who already is, he's, he's in double Dutch mode for the Semperi. You know what I'm saying? He's in double Dutch mode. He already saying, you know, that's his wife. This is like, shut up. You know what I'm saying? And then I heard a little rail said, you know, some of these women haven't ever been protected, so they don't know what protection looks like. It's just like, dude, nobody in the history of dudes would ever do that. Nobody, you couldn't make a joke about somebody's wife and then they run up on you like that. That's not acceptable in no situation. Anybody, any dude taking that angle, it's just like, dude, you are, you are not, you are the problem. You are the reason that our women are out of fucking order. It's not even close. You're the reason why they're fucking out of order. And they're out of order. And they're out of order because they know that a nigga will slap somebody for somebody. You know, a nigga will slap somebody for me. So I can act a fucking clown. And I'm not saying that Jada's been acting a clown. There are some things she did that was, you know, did that was questionable. You know, um, obviously, you know what I mean? And people like, you know, the, with that whole situation, like, you know, look at that Will and how he's been reacting to everything. I don't think that Will has cheated on Jada. I just don't buy it at this point. I mean, you know, somebody would have came out. Why would he lie about it at this point? There's no need to lie about him being unfaithful. You know, he could just probably just say it out loud. Just, yeah, I was unfaithful too. You know, but the problem is, is that you can't justify the behavior of either, you know, um, I just think at this point, you know what I'm saying, we need to just, uh, take both of their behaviors and ball it up and just throw it away, just throw it away, you know, not throw it to people, but just, you know, just their behavior and just throw it away, but, you know, that'd be my time, man, um, likes comments and subscribing would be appreciated um and i'm gonna get on out of here man peace